Hey brother, welcome back to video number two. Glad you're here. It says a lot about you and the caliber of man you are that you're interested in leveling up, being the best husband and father and businessman and man that you can be. Like we talked about in the last video, I hope you got so much value out of that. We have to be fit in mind, body, and spirit. It's, that is the foundation for everything, and it will always will be. Most of us are limping along, uh, struggling, uh, tired, exhausted, dragging ourselves through the day, just lacking the energy and the vitality we need to really show up for all the needs and desires of our wives and all the needs and desires of our children and of our business and our life and lifestyle. Remember, your body is your billboard and it's also your business card. And the whole condition of your mind, body, and spirit is the determining factor for everything else you do in life, right? And fitness trickles down then to family, marriage, parenting, and family legacy, which we're going to talk about right now, which is the second trifecta. And then it trickles down to financial fitness as well, which we're going to talk about in the next video, right? We have to be fit in all of those areas of life. So we're going to talk about family today. And this is the determining factor for the quality and outcome of your life and my life. Ultimately, hopefully, at the end of our lives, the very last thing we see and experience will be our, the people in our family who we love and who love us surrounding us as we pass out of this life. And between now and then, it'll be the quality of those relationships that will ultimately determine the quality of our lives. It's everything. And, you know, some men can fake it. They can, you know, achieve all these other things outside of the home and put on a big show to society. But ultimately, the condition of your marriage and the relationship with each of your children says so much about who you are as a man and how you do life. Gentlemen, your relationships in your family, the things that are going on day in and day out inside the walls of your home are the most important thing in life. And so we have to lean in. So number one is marriage, right? The, the triple trifecta. The second one is marriage, parenting, and family legacy. So marriage. I hope you started your marriage with a lot of spark, a lot of passion, a lot of romance. Ideally, that would increase over time. I've been married over 22 years, and Rachel and I are more in love now than we ever have been before. We have a genuinely extraordinary marriage, but that's because we work on it every day. Uh, maybe you know some of my story. My parents divorced when I was really young. Stepdads came and went. So what I saw growing up was marriage fighting divorce, marriage fighting divorce, marriage fighting divorce. And I knew at 16, when I went out on my own, I'm like, man, I, I don't want to experience that at all. I want to have an absolutely phenomenal marriage. And so I started studying it voraciously. I had to figure this out. I, I had a big list of what not to do. But then over the years of time of studying and working on it, I came up with this formula to make sure you can get and keep that spark, that deep love and passion and romance in your marriage so you can have all the connection you want. You can really talk and, and do big adventures together and chase your dreams and goals together so you can make love all the time and have all the, the sex and the, the dates and the, and the passion, the excitement of doing life together. But also so you can be great partners in running your household, in taking care of, of business and life, and especially in raising your children. So there's some simple, powerful strategies that just work in maintaining the high caliber marriage that you want to have, a, a truly extraordinary marriage where so many guys, it's just one chronic fight and insults and, and the silent treatment and the separation and Others are just, just enduring each other. They, so many couples just are behaving like, like roommates. Or at best, you know, a father and a mother kind of 
run life together, it becomes very transactional. They're just going through the motions, running the errands, but they've lost the, the love and the spark. And inside the masterclass, I lay out all the tools and strategies that I learned literally when I started voraciously studying it as a teenager and went out on my own. It's like, man, I'm not doing that. What will prevent that from happening? To now having worked with thousands of couples all over the world, putting together this formula that just works. And it's, it's not that crazy hard. It's simple things that done day in and day out bring back literal magic into your marriage. I'll give you one piece right here that's absolutely critical. I would say non-negotiable, gentlemen. Make sure you take your wife on a date, a good date, and plan as many of them as you can, but take her on a date every week. Don't skip that. Don't stop dating your wife. Don't make excuses. Don't say that you're too busy or you, you couldn't find a sitter or you couldn't make it happen or you didn't have time. That's an excuse. Make your wife your highest priority. Prove to her with your actions that she is the most important person and the most important thing in your life. Now, there's all kinds of other strategies and tools I give you and tactics from, from how to listen to how to make sure she loves sex, to supporting her in all the, the worries and fears and concerns that she has that become a barrier in between the both of you and your marriage. But make sure your marriage is rock solid. Bring back the magic. Okay, number two is the relationship you have with each of your kids, right? Like this is, this is your legacy, brother. The relationship you have with your kids and your greatest work, my greatest work, will be raising another human being to become a superb adult. Isn't that incredible? Do like, you remember when your kids were born? I do. My wife and I, we have seven children. We adopted our first and six births. And each child, these baby, as they came into our lives, just so much, well, fear, right, and responsibility, and then awe, and, and the feeling of inadequacy, and then dreaming and trying to figure out how am I going to raise this child to be a great person and there's a formula for that and it's it's powerful and there are tools strategies systems that we have to have in place get them in place and keep them in place so that our kids become amazing and that we can cheer them on as they're setting and achieving big goals and maximizing their potential and in all of that fellas we have to keep a really great relationship with them too many dads uh, uh, start in this, this fighting and this, this, this battle with their kids starting when they're toddlers and we're yelling because the kid doesn't want to go to bed or something or they make a mess and we, we lose our cool, we lack the patience, we get upset and then you know when they're a, a 10, 11, 12 and they don't want to do anything, they don't want to put any effort and then get fight impatient again or when they're teenagers. And so instead of having this loving, mentoring, beautiful relationship where they just love to spend time with you and you genuinely love to spend time with them, so many of us, just, it's a drag. It's, it's drudgery. You aren't finding joy in being around them and they definitely aren't being, you know, finding joy in like being around you because maybe you're being super unpleasant or you just aren't investing in that relationship. So again massive amounts of tools and strategies, systems to put into place to make sure that you are being the best dad possible, that you're number one, and I'll, I'll get, this is the most important thing in parenting, is you have to model the way. Brother, you have to show your boys how to be a man. If he doesn't have that example, he won't know what to do. He won't know how to behave as a man when he grows up. And you have to have, show your daughters what a true man is like. They have to see that day in and day out, through the good times, through the tough times. You have to show them what it means to be a great man. And in doing that, you'll actually be showing them how to be a phenomenal husband and how to be a great father and in all likelihood 
and the highest probabilities are your kids will grow up to be like you and do life like you. So make sure you're modeling that for them. Which leads us to the third part of the, the second trifecta is your family legacy. I want you to think about this. Think about your not only your kids, but your grandkids and your great-grandkids and their spouses and their kids and, and the legacy you want to leave. Maybe you're like me and, and the, the family legacy you inherited wasn't a great one, right? There's, there's not a whole lot there that you want to carry on. Maybe you're going to be the change in the generations that just change this path. Or maybe you come from a great generation and you want to add to it and carry on that legacy. But you have to think way beyond, we have to think way beyond just today and right now and making sure the kids survive, right? Some of us get into survival more and where it's like, oh, if I can just not kill my kids and they survive into adulthood, I've succeeded. But I want to challenge you to think way beyond that to think about a genuine legacy that will carry on for generations and have it start or at least continue with you. What caliber of husband and father do you need to be to make sure that legacy continues? What do you need to think about? What do you need to do? What habits and systems are in place? What are you doing to make sure you are building an absolutely phenomenal family legacy and again that's those are the things they lay out in the master class right there's so much to cover but it, most of it comes down to simple things that are easy to do but also the challenge is it's easy not to do and so you can you can do them today or you can not do them and whether you do them or not is the determining factor on so much of what happens and so we're going along and we have what I call micro dosing and macro dosing. And this is true with your marriage, it's true with your parenting, and it's true with your family legacy. Like it's the little things you're doing each day is the micro dosing, and the big things you're doing throughout each year. And not just putting it off, not saying someday, but actually making it happen. Right, right here out, out over the mountains is the Mediterranean. And we're in we're in Turkey right now. And we're out traveling. This, this is part of our family legacy is to travel and explore all over the world and to be deeply involved in humanitarian efforts and in philanthropy and in learning about history and countries and cultures and people and politics and war and to be reading and studying and becoming the very best version of ourselves. That's part of our family legacy and we are actively living our family dream. So brother, lean in, get committed, Get a vision, first of all. Spend some time thinking, write about this. Get a vision of the caliber of husband you want you to be and what you want your marriage to look like. How you want your relationship with your kids to be. You can describe it. You can think about it. You can feel it. You can see it. See it in your eyes and write it down in your journal. Capture that. What do you want it to look like? What do you want it to be like? And then go out 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 years. Roll that out in your head. Write it down. What do you want your family legacy to be like? Those are the tools. That's that's the vision, right? And I'll give you the tools and the tactics and the strategies and the systems that just work to build that inside the Be The Man Masterclass and Tribe. And I'll I'll say it right here, I sincerely hope you will join us and get in to to get access to to all that, the the key information that has made such a phenomenal difference in our lives and in the lives of thousands of men across five continents, but also to be part of a phenomenal brotherhood of great men who are committed to being the very best version of themselves. All right, we'll see you in the next video. We're gonna dive in now to financial fitness. How do you get, because you gotta, fu- you gotta fund all this, right? You gotta have the finances in place so you can be in best fitness for your mind, body, and spirit. And so you can lean in and provide the needs to be a provider and a protector for your wife and your children and your family legacy. See you in the next video.